We love the volunteers. I love playing with Jackson. I love Jackson. He's awesome. I love Harrison. I love the whole family. They're awesome. David absolutely loves his volunteers. They have been great with my daughter. Each volunteer brings something different to my children. We love the volunteers. You just feel so good about yourself after knowing what you're, how you're making these kids' days is just great. And if they can do that, then that's even better. I think that if a teenager, especially nowadays, wants to volunteer to help special needs children, I think it's a great learning opportunity for them. I, I notice David like enjoys us and being able to just connect with him and his whole family and it's just a great thing. It's nice to help others that don't have what you have and you'll, you'll feel good about yourself. I was surprised. I thought that it was really something that my children and I were benefiting from, but just as an example, I spoke with Maddie and I thanked her for coming and being so great to my children and she said, are you kidding? This is the highlight of my week. It blows my mind that they get as much out of this as I do and my children do. These are children that are not obligated in any way to do any kind of service like this. I love coming to Jackson's house. It's definitely the highlight of my school week. I love his smile and I love when we play. It's the best. I benefit from being a volunteer in the sense that I learned many different things and how to treat people and how to respect others. Some of the things I've learned from David is you don't have to express something by saying it, like I love you. You can just tell by like a facial expression or an action that he does or by hugging you or kissing you or, holding, or wanting to hold your hand. That's what I think is important. I definitely benefit from being a volunteer at the Friendship Circle through just learning so much from Jackson like like I learned about kids and I learned about special needs and I learned about being a leader just it teaches so much and it's great when when we leave and she says goodbye to us and she gives a hug I feel like I've done something really good and, and she I made her day better I just feel that that um, David has gotten so much out of it it's been an amazing experience I wish they lived closer I wish they could come every day these children are volunteering to spend you know, part of their day with him, and it's something that he always looks forward to. Being with them, she's happy. She can't wait for them to get here. Every time I hear, okay, we have a date set to go to David's house, I'm always like, oh great, when is it, when is it? Because it just gives me a great feeling. I'm just excited to come, like the Thursdays, that I, the days that I come, it's just, I look forward to it at the end of my day, knowing after school I get to come see Bella. Well, Bella knows that they're her, her friend. He actually thinks of me as a friend more than just some other person. So it really makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something by visiting every week. She can just be herself, be a kid, and have fun. When I come over, I want Bella to feel like she is these two friends that are just here to be with her, and we just come over because we love spending time with her, and it just makes her happy, and it just makes her day. It gives your child an opportunity to open up and have a real friend, just somebody to play with once a week. It's, it's part of incorporating and bringing those friendships into your life and making them a part to make you whole or make the child whole. And I just think that's important to know that it's not only just a circle of friends, but it's a part of your life. And if you let it come into your life, it can be a part of your, your family. The holiday programs are really special for us because at this time, we're not in a Jewish day school. And it's the one opportunity outside of the home that they get any type of Judaic influence, so to speak. It's, uh, it's all about the kids, and it is a very welcoming, very loving, non-conditional organization. And it's brought me closer to my children and to Judaism. Mom's Night Out is great for more than one reason. It's more than just getting out at night. It's nice to be able to commiserate, so to speak, and to give help and hints between myself and other mothers that have similar issues. The answer between the parents that have children with needs is really invaluable. And I, I think it's a great program and I wish, I wish I knew about it sooner. <laughs> it's a great program. Thank you. We've both benefited equally from this friendship. I've learned so much about myself and about others from playing with Jackson. I know that he's learned so much and we have so much fun together. That's just an awesome experience for both people. I've learned from David that 
you don't necessarily need words to be compassionate and you don't need words to even pray like David did in his bar mitzvah. He used sign language and you could really tell that he meant what he was doing. My favorite moment that has been with David was probably his bar mitzvah because that just really touched me inside. I think the friendship circle is very important. I think it's a rewarding program for both the kids that participate and for the special needs kids. Well, I think it's the greatest thing that's happened to David. I've seen a positive change, you know, on the days, especially the days that they're coming. I think for the special needs child, it gives them a wonderful sense of belonging. There's no hesitation. I mean, call the friendship circle. It's the best program ever.